All right. I think we're good to go. Hello, everyone. Welcome into the stream. Who do I see right now? I see Numuik. Hello. Welcome in. I see Soctunis and I see M. Basil. Welcome. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining. Um, first things first, Medibang's back. Fantastic. It works again. Um, or I got it working as best as I can. It's not like perfect, um, but it follows my pen pretty smoothly. So good enough for me. <laughs> I'm all good with that. Um, so hey, we're back in Medibang compared to Photoshop. As much as I love working in Photoshop, um, Medibang is definitely better for this stream. Um, but yeah, we will also be doing the art style challenge today. So what that means is that based on your requests, I will be drawing um, a single character over and over in different art styles. I believe I will be, you know, I, I said for the poll, I was like, hello, Daria. Um, I said for the poll, I was like, what style should we start off with? I guess I should have said like, what character should I draw? Because <laughs> I'm kind of sitting here trying to figure out who I'm going to do. Um, part of me is like, oh, I'll do my own character. But then I'm like, I don't know, should I? Um, hello, inner magic. Welcome in. Um, but yeah, I'll be drawing a single character over and over. Um, currently I will be starting with a Tim Burton style from the Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, because it's a little bit spooky, even I, I know it's a Christmas movie, but like Tim Burton, you, you don't get a Tim Burton movie. That's like not creepy. So, um, I'll count it. Um, but yeah, before we get started, oh goodness, let's let some stuff load for a moment before we get started. Let's talk a bit about the channel because if you didn't know our growing community is filled with tons of art nerds and we art nerds have to stick together so if you're an art nerd do be sure to check out the links to our social media in the description below and check out our website for our class offerings where you can get critique guidance and encouragement from our instructors because we're not just a youtube channel we are an art school too so if you'd like to support us so we can keep making free content consider supporting us on patreon for as little as two dollars per month where you can get access to tons of perks like my working files critique sessions and a huge discount on our classes that have a limited amount of spots so be sure to check those out before they are gone. All right, let me head back to because I popped out the chat real quick, just so I could look at my reference off to the side. Grayson and Jojo. I can definitely do a Jojo style if you'd like. Ooh, other people in here. Samantha is in. Welcome in. Oh, people want to see Grayson, I guess. <laughs> All right, so I guess I will be drawing my son. Um, I can definitely do a Ghibli style and I can definitely do a Jojo style if that's what's being requested. Um, but yeah, feel free to leave in something that you'd like me to, a style that you'd like me to mimic. Um, so I'm starting with Tim Burton. I have a list off to the side that I'll reference. So somebody requested Ghibli. Who is that? That's Samantha. Um, hello, Bunny Doll. Uh, Flexology, welcome in. Um, and the name I can't pronounce because it's in Japanese characters. Um, but thank you for joining in. Um, so that's Ghibli. And Jojo. I can fit in a lot of these guys, so feel free to just request a bunch of them if you'd like. Um, request more than run if you really wish to. Um, but I can probably get a bunch of these knocked out because I'm pretty sure I- oops, what did I do? Oh, I- I hit the wrong function. Um, I'm only going to be doing bust shots, so that's shoulder and up. Shoulders and up. Um, I should have set up the grid beforehand too. There's a lot of things I should have done. I'm kind of fried today, I'm sorry. I know, I think I say that a lot, but I'm a little bit fried, more fried today. Um, if you want to know why. Oh, can I not reselect? Oh, okay, I guess. And I can't do it. Oh, you know what? I haven't used Medibang in so long. I've completely forgotten how to operate this app. Yeah, I'm a little bit fried, mostly because I've been working on school assignments all day. And it's me, it was me attempting a, oh, what's it called? A still life, which I haven't done in like six years. Hello, TLE, welcome in. Um, yeah, I know, crazy. I haven't done a still life in six years. <laughs> it dates me. Um, but that's what I'm doing. I have to realistically draw a still life with graphite. Scale of one to ten, how fried are we, chat? I'm gonna go with a hard nine. I'm I'm feeling it today. We out here. But I will still do my best. I also gotta make these boxes. Uh 
We'll see how many we get to. But I'll make nine just to start off. Um, oh, my canvas is not big enough. School is tiring. Feeling eight? Yeah, me too, Daria. Uh, I haven't felt the the exhaustion of school in so long. And it's like, I've, com I've completely forgotten what it was like. Oops. And now I'm like, ah, yes, now I remember. <laughs> Ten, your school is off? Oof. Yeah, I have a I have reading week coming up. Um but I still have assignments to finish. I got an extension on one of them, so that's good. But okay, so I'm gonna be starting off with Tim Burton's style. The thing with Tim Burton is that his style, really cool. I love the way that it looks. Um gave it up the good work managing it. Yes, work management. Um thing with Tim Burton's style is he's very known for like very sharp angled features. <laughs> Welcome back to school, Jesse. You have stress and homework. Yes, I know Nimue. Um, For those who don't know, I've been best friends with Nimue since we were like 14. Um, so, <laughs> well, well, she's been stuck in animation school. She's the animation person that I talk about sometimes on stream. Um, so she's been toughing it out in animation school for a while while I get to stream and <laughs> work but yeah pretty good six i have four tests to study for next week oh no good luck with that <laughs> exposing us already yeah it's the truth i expose everybody that's the thing um yeah so the thing with tim burton oh i should put room for captions um i don't know i can just no i should um the thing with tim burton is that his style is very very distinct um when you look at like a tim burton work you're like oh yeah that's tim burton it's because he has a lot of very harsh things about his style. He's a very harsh style. I think that's the way that I uh, describe it. Um, and you can kind of see it with like his super sharp angles of the face and the really deep set eyes and stuff like that. So Tim Burton is a very, very recognizable style. Um, a bunch of you wanted me to draw Grayson, so I guess I will. <laughs> so I'll gladly do that. But yeah, good luck. Good luck, M. Basil. Um, I don't, I don't know if any of my courses have tests per se. I think I have, oh no, you know what? Yeah, I've got a ton of quizzes. I usually have a quiz per week for some classes, um, but I don't have any like big tests, I don't think. So wishing you luck from my corner of the earth. Yeah, it's really big, harsh pupils. I'll try my best. Yes. Do your best. Do your best. Because I'm kind of going off of The Nightmare Before Christmas as well. Um, the Nightmare Before Christmas was a stop motion animation. Um, and the thing with that is that everybody looks like a doll. Um, currently off to the side I have, I'm looking at Sally from that movie. Um, because she has the, the, she's the A, she's the easiest one to look up. B, she has the most like more humanoid features. Does anybody have eyebrows? I don't think so. It's very much like a... Hang on, let's just look up Tim Burton's art style. Oh, Pikachu and Tim Burton? Okay, so we're going to be sticking with one character throughout the entire thing. So I'm going to be drawing the same character over and over. Um, but I can do this character in a Pokemon art style if you'd like, Bones Knight. Uh, let's see here. Tim Burton. Art style. How did they do Oogie, Oogie Boogie and stop motion? Remember all the insects? They probably sculpted each one. That's the thing. It's like with with um, stop motion, either they computer generated it or they... But the thing is, is that that movie's really old. Yeah, 1993. So they probably... Well, they might have, but it wouldn't have looked that good. So they most likely did sculpt each one or they used robotics. Um, if you've ever watched Kubo on the Two Strings, that one utilized robotics. Okay, yeah. Okay, I can definitely do a Pokemon art style. Then. Where did I put that? There it is. So they most likely either used um hello Louis. Slow day it works, I get to join the stream today. Hello, glad you could join in. Feel free to request an art style. Um never before Christmas. Okay, somebody said Pokemon. Yeah, I can definitely do that. The Pokemon style is really nice because it's nice and easy. <laughs> uh Tim Burton. Sorry, I gotta look up. I gotta see if like I'm pretty sure he does do art eyes. Tim Burton characters. Let's see. 
Yeah, he does. They're just very, very thin. Okay, sick. I can do that. Because you gotta imitate it. An art style is super, like, recognizable. That's the thing with it, is like you, you have very, very little things that you gotta pay attention to. The ears as well. He always keeps them very high, which is fascinating to me. They're usually very high, very simple, from what I'm looking at right now. I'm looking at the corpse right now, too, which is probably a bigger... It's it's probably more of a Halloween movie, but um, than the Nightmare Before Christmas. But people recognize um, <laughs> um, the Nightmare Before Christmas a little bit more. May I make one request? Of course, feel free to request more than one, guys. I don't mind. Uh oh, and the hair is just like the thing with the hair is it's either real hair or it's sculpted. I'm gonna go for the. Because a lot of the, his more animated stuff is, like, stop motion, right? So it's, like, all sculpted. Studio Trigger, maybe maybe BNA? I can definitely do that. BNA has a great style. Or Little Witch. I can do both, if you want me to. Depends on how many I get to. Uh, yeah, the thing with this one is like it's gonna be a lot of, yeah. The the tracking isn't perfect. It's as good about as good as I can get it, but it's good enough where I can I can live with it. That's what we're dealing with right now. And the necks are always like that. Yes, sir. The fabrics are usually just the way fabrics are. The best thing about Tim Burton styles: a, it's mostly in black and white. B, the lines are not clean so i don't have to worry about them too much pseudo trigger styles immaculate it truly is it really really is very like clay like and skinny of course because they are made of clay they're made of plasticine that's what a lot of them are done with uncanny valley uncanny valley like you want me to draw something with uncanny valley that's a challenge i'll i'm up for it if that's what you want me to do i don't suppose we can fit in a spongebob style maybe pokemon can cover it <laughs> please eat more please eat more my son um spongebob maybe i could probably um i've got six right now so i have done like a good like nine blocks because i can probably do a good nine of them depending on how quick i work i'm fried today but i'm trying to wake myself back up so request it anyway um it's in there so yes you want me to do a uncanny valley all right that's gonna be funky because that means that I gotta design it myself. I love Studio Trigger, it's so true. Studio Trigger, I think, is doing um I think they did one of the episodes for the new Star Wars thing. I'm not like super, super into Star Wars, but my dad is. So like I've but I've seen the the clips for it. Uh, straight up, the one of the one of their like Jedi's looks like um Leo from uh Promare. A movie I have not watched. That is Studio Trigger, right? Don't <laughs> don't crucify me. It's not. It's either Bones or Trigger, one or the other. Hello, Drew. Welcome in. Yeah, the best thing about this style. Here's the thing. It's, I should probably turn off impossible pressure. Oh, that's better. Yeah, we need that harsh kind of rough look with the lines, because with his more traditional work, his lines were not very clean. They did excellent. Okay, so I am remembering correctly. Beautiful. Yeah. So. Yeah, because Trigger did uh, Promare as well. Beautiful movie. Haven't watched it. Have seen a lot of clips. Have seen a lot of fan art. It looked gorgeous. And part of me, I still really want to watch it. I haven't. No, because I want to watch it legally. But like, I can't find it legally in Japanese. <laughs> to watch it together sometime. Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. They really did put Leo in there. You're right. They totally did. I can't pronounce the last name, unfortunately. Um, Promare is, yeah, it looks beautiful. Every single time that I see it, I'm like, oh, those colors. And same with Brand New Animal. The NA looks really, really beautiful. Another one I haven't watched. Um, I would say that I'd watch it over my, uh, what's it called? My reading week, which is coming up. But uh, I've already reserved Squid Game for that because I've been pressured by everyone surrounding me. So <laughs> um, I will be watching Squid Game. But because um, that's another one I haven't watched yet. But I'm very intrigued by Squid Game. I'm most likely going to be watching that one first. Um, yeah, Promare, I still got to watch. I've got to watch BNA. I've got to watch. I've got so many. Promare is on YouTube subbed. Is it? Is it really? 
because I could only find it on YouTube dubbed. So I'm like, okay. Squid Game, you could finish in a day. Yeah, probably. I was gonna probably gonna save it for like, uh, because I actually have a schedule for my reading week because I have meetings and places to be. Uh, the best. Yo, cave into peer pressure. It looks really good though. So this is me being like, I want to. <laughs> Don't worry. The ending sucks. That's okay. I've watched a lot of anime where I, I didn't like the ending, but I liked the rest of the anime. Um, namely, uh, what's it called? Um, Dororo, which I watched with Numuik, or I watched it after she did. And <laughs> I remember once we were waiting at the bus stop, ironically, to come to Wing Canvas, um, and we were talking about it, and the guy that was sitting next to us in the bus stop was like, uh, can you guys, like, keep it down? I don't want spoilers. <laughs> and it was just really funny. <laughs> Squid Games. Yeah, Squid Games is a new Netflix show. No, I don't need that. That's more of, like, my thing to do. Doro, yeah. That anime was so good, and then the ending was, like, um... Uh... It's very, like, hit or miss for a lot of people, and for me, it was more of a miss. I wasn't a really big fan of the ending. Um, but... Okay, let's take a look here, because Tim Burton. Let's look at his illustrations. I'd, I'd say that Tim Burton's illustrations is a very is a very scribbly style, mostly with black and white, which is great for me, because uh, <laughs> that means that I don't... Oh, it's more like single strokes that are like very scribbly, though. All right, let's kind of switch to that, then. So that means I gotta do stuff like this. Yes. That's a little bit. Because I was looking at his, like, non-illustrated characters when I probably should have been. His, his movements are more jittery. That's the thing. I guess I should have saved that. I should guess I should do that last in the way, too. Now. Even though I kind of, like, completely disregarded it for a lot of that. Um, oh, I should move this over. No, that's fine. I'll keep that over there. I love me just like immediately changing the lighting style at a drop of a hat. Like, yeah, let's do it. Jesse, can you stop trying Grayson? I don't know what spoilers for his looks. What do you mean? <laughs> this thing's been coming out for like a year now. <laughs> two, almost two years. <laughs> Oh my god, it is two years now. Because if I started it in 2019 of Halloween. Oh, yeah. Because October, we have reached a two year anniversary. That's pretty wild, I think. Oh, I didn't do anything on the two year anniversary. My bad. <laughs> so be it. Can we scratch out the Pokemon style and do Vivzy Pod? I can try that, yeah. I can do that. Vivzy is a great style, it's really strong. I also love her thick line work. I'm such a sucker for thick lines. I was like, oh, so good. I was a big fan of Angel Dust when he was announced. I was like, are you kidding me? This character rules. <laughs> it's already been two years, right? Hurts me. Let's go. That's like, and the thing with um, his, because he does a lot of watercolor. So I don't have a watercolor brush, unfortunately, but I can try to mimic it. A little bit. Like a more ink washed kind of. Yeah, okay. He never really colored in skin tones either. He worked with a lot of more Caucasian characters. But even then, he mostly just ink washed that. Regardless of their skin tone. If they were darker, then he would add on an extra layer of color. But if they weren't, then he just left it like this. This is about as good as I can get for the watercolor, by the way. I can't do that. <laughs> I don't have a watercolor brush in this one. I have devoted myself to using default brushes and nothing more. Because I am stubborn. Thick lines save lives. Yes, they do. Not everyone likes thick lines, though, and that's okay. Um, 
I used to be a very harsh, like, thin line person. Like, I really didn't like working with thick lines. And then as I got older, I was like, wow, thick lines are so fun. And I never turned back. <laughs> Clip Studios built-in brushes sucks. You got, like, less than 10. Really? I had so many. I did, however, but then, like, I didn't really like the built-in ones either. I So I mostly did um, use, like, my... Uh, uh, like, I have Photoshop as well, so I just transferred over my Photoshop brush. Yet. It's a little bit happening here. Some of it is uh, pencil crayon done as well, but I, I can mimic the pencil crayon even less with the... Uh, what's it called? With Maddie Bang, so... I will live with uh, this um, strange mimicry of watercolor. <laughs> Even though it kind of looks a little bit more like marker. I have a bunch of marker brushes on Photoshop, but not here. That's okay. Working with what we got. Working with what we got. All right, cool. Stick with that one. What was next? It was... All right, good time. Um, Jojo. Oh, goodness. All right, let's see if I can figure this out. Oh no. <laughs> I know what it looks like. It's just now I'm analyzing it and I'm like, oh, that's going to be tough. Okay. That's fine. That's okay. Let's find somebody with a smaller face. What does that mean? I'm going to have to find a woman. Jojo Adventure. Women. And there aren't too many of those in this show that are like right in the forefront. Um, I know there's one girl. I, I never remember her name. I know that she's like all green. Yeah, she's the one that... Oh, jo Jolene. Yeah. When did Medibank start working again for you? Mine still has a lag and I'm buying. I was kind of looking through a bunch of different solutions. Every single week, I'd try a different solution before stream. And if it didn't work, then I would say, like... <laughs> then I didn't work. Um, for me, what I did is I went to my pen settings. Um, like, my mapping settings. And I switched it to... Oh my god, I don't remember. It was like match the pen movements with the mouse movements, something like that. Like I turned that on and then it started working. It's not perfect. I can't get immediate, immediate strokes, but it works well enough for me to stick with it. Joylene, yeah, Joylene Kujo. Araki said it was important for him to draw beautiful men. That's very true. You know what? I vibe with this man. You know what? Uh, man, I vibe. Yeah, I vibe with this man. You know what? I vibe with that. I agree wholeheartedly. It is very, very important to draw beautiful men. I think it's very, very important to draw beautiful people. Everybody is beautiful within their own right, and that's what I stick with. Um, everybody has preferences as well, though. And uh, I, <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna say that I agree with that 100%. Um, I feel bad when I open Clip Studio brushes have downloaded a few in essence. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of how I fixed it. I don't, I don't one hundred percent remember it word for word like how I did it, but uh, it worked. So I'm stick. You know what? I'll live with. It. I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> like a side profile on these people. Jojo's like a realistic proportions with harsher shading. Um, I don't one hundred percent agree. I say that Jojo has a very distinct style. I feel like it's very much like. I'd say it's like anime proportions with harsher line work um anime has a very it does tend to use very thin um manga tends to have very intense line work but um when it gets translated into the anime they end up relying more on the color compared to the line work when they actually start to draw the characters on the on the other hand though jojo leaves in all of that line work which is like not something you don't see very often um so that's kind of how it switches for me. It's how I feel about it anyway. How difficult is it to draw Naruto as Goku or another character? I want to try this on myself. Um, I don't think so. I think it's just like learning how to do the, the style. Styles can be learned. That's the thing is that all art styles can be learned. Ooh, there's a side profile. I'm trying to find different angles of the face. That's fan art. That's not official art. Girl, why does everybody face the front? The heck is this? All right, let's 
Yeah, it's still not perfect, but it's it's good enough, I guess. Sorry, I'm just <laughs> complaining. <laughs> Those eyes are great, actually. I think that's the only thing I really like about the judges' style is the eyes. I'm a really big fan of how they do them. Yeah, apologies for those who really like JoJo. I vibe with the creator. I vibe with his message. Um, I don't know. I'm just not a huge fan of it. But those eyes, though, are very good. Yeah, the thing is, is that it's like I, can't, I don't have any like side side profiles, so it's hard to see how he does the eyes at different angles. It's like yeah sorry if i go kind of quiet it means i'm analyzing for a second he also doesn't draw any kids so it's like it's kind of tough when i'm drawing this 12 year old and i'm like how do i how do i translate this Yeah, because he kept in a lot of the. It's very graphic. That's a good. That's a good descriptor. It's very graphic. Styles are a great thing to study, especially if you're like kind of struggling with your own. You want to kind of learn new things. Styles are a great thing to kind of analyze and figure out because then you learn from their process as well. Oh, thank God his ears are super simple. <laughs> like ears are my are a big weakness of mine. I feel like a lot nobody talks about ears as much as like they should, because a lot of people simplify them. But like realistic ears are a big weakness of mine. I've never been good at them. How long have I been drawing? Um, I was born with a pencil in hand. When I was birthed, my mother found me in the delivery room with a pencil glued to my fist i'm joking i've been drawing for a really long time <laughs> um i started drawing seriously when i was 13 um but i've been i i've been drawing for my entire life but the but i've been drawing seriously since i was maybe 13. um how uh yeah the thick and confident lines for true Unusual poses that are absolutely incredible. Unusual poses are my favorite thing ever. I love strange poses. Might want to look Narancia. True. Thank you. True. Yeah, that one works. Sweet. Because that's a rounder nose. Beautiful. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Jurek Kid in part four. To be fair, JoJo characters are like 15 to 19. Absolutely not. That I'm I'm disgusted. That's, such... <laughs> That's the most anime thing I've ever heard. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh my god, they're they're built. That don't That's not fair. That's how I drew when I was 15. <laughs> That's not fair. Buying an iMac and an iPad as drawing tablets better than having a Wacom. I am not a big fan of Apple. Um, I'm the wrong person to ask, um, but um, I would not use an iMac for um, art or anything graphics related just because the processes are usually not that great. Um, I would recommend Android in that sense. Um, but an iPad, lots of people use iPads for art when it comes to Procreate. Um, cause Procreate's great on there. Clip Studio and everything else has like all the really, really good programs. Um, require a subscription on the iPod because it's a tablet program. Um, when I do like travel digital art, I I have a Surface, like a Surface Pro 7, and that's what I use. He does this fun thing with his lines like that. Yeah. I do like that. That's really cool. I'm serious. No, I don't. It's not that I don't believe you. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm like upset. But but not literally. It's like I'm like in that you know yeah. <laughs> and Gray's clothes are not as insane as the blue JoJo ones. He's like he's one of my least fashionable OCs. <laughs> I love fashionable characters, so it was it was a challenge to make him like 
very standard. <laughs> What's this closet look like? It's all hoodies. It's all the same gray hoodie over and over. It's like a cartoon character. You open it up. It's all the same <laughs> clothes. Um, oh, I should make this a little bit larger. Let's fix that. There we go. So I can cut it off a little bit more. Sick. Yeah, and the thing with JoJo is now I've got to really hone in on that art style. JoJo characters would be like, my name is Parmesan Ovidanio. I'm 15 years old, 6 foot 10, and 300 pounds of pure muscle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> That's not. Oof. What type of pencil, though? Mm. Yeah, the Apple Pencil, I feel, is like a hit or miss for a lot of people. So a lot of people get, like, grips for it. See, the very the very harsh outline is quite thin. It's the rest of it that isn't. I'm actually going to use the G-Pen just because a lot of it, I'm going to kind of account for the grain that's in the anime screenshots. I'm looking at anime screenshots. That's what I'm doing right now. Feel called out for the hoodie comment. No, I was the exact same when I was in high school. I never dressed up. Now I have like a more extensive wardrobe when I was younger. Never. I never wore anything. It was like hoodies and the same pair of like black jeans. That's all I wore. It was the same thing that in college, actually. I just, I like, I, when I got to college, I just, like just started branching out like my, like I loved fashion, but I never actually put in the money for it or anything. And now I'm like, and, and then quarantine hit, and then suddenly now it's like, oh my god, now it's like, I, I dress up all the time. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but now it's like, I dress up all the time. Even though none of you can see me, I'm wearing like a, like a skirt, I'm wearing like a, like a nice ribbed, like, sweater, like, in preparation for fall. I went out today, I, I was wearing like, knee-high boots, hair tied up. Sketch is quite smooth. Thank you. Not sure if I'm gonna let drop a like on this stream, even with Nightbot's persuasion. Mm. I think you should. I think Nightbot's right. I think you gotta like smash that like button and hit subscribe. I think that's that's also important. Unless you already have them. Thank you. <laughs> Apple pencil's the best. Real smooth. Really? I'm not a big fan of it. I feel like it's not smooth to me like it's smooth but like i feel like i don't like the grip on it i i don't mind the surface 7 pen it's it's not great i don't think it's amazing um but i'm a big fan of like how like more um pc based like computer based tablets feel because those pens feel a lot heftier and i'm a big fan of the heftier pens i think Oh, that looks good, actually. <laughs> Love a fashionable Jesse, yes, sir. Sweater wearer calls on hoodie <laughs> enthusiasts. Are you kidding me? Half of my closet is still hoodies. I just, like, I don't know. I, I feel like now I'm like, bro, I gotta, like, pair everything, and I gotta make sure it looks good. But, like, I still wear hoodies, though. My favorite hoodie, um... Oh. One of my favorite hoodies is one that I got from a convention. Um, and it's like... One of my favorite hoodies I got from a convention. And it has this beautiful, like... Um, oh, I need those references. Um, it has a beautiful, like, stitched-on dick haul on the back. And, like, I need to wear it more. Because it's, it's gorgeous. Again, though, my brain is like, you don't have anything that pairs with it. But I'm like, yes, I do. I'll just make it work. And these eyes. Crazy. It's like, I don't know what's happening here, but like, all right. Yeah, very graphic. It's a very graphic looking style. Hoodie while drawing boots something inside your brain. I vibe with that. You have a Dell XPS 2 and 1 for travel. The pen for that is probably one of your faves. Nice. I've never heard of that before, but I'm glad you like it. 
I love slim pencils, so I don't use any grip. I hope it won't get damaged. Well, some people don't use the grip, you know. I think most people who use the grip are the people who are switching from, or like use a computer tablet more often and then switch to the Apple Pencil. Again, don't let my opinions dampen anything that you think, right? Uh, these are, I'm, it's very subjective, right? And whatever works for you, works for you, right? Some people don't like Wacom, some people don't like iPads, so on and so forth, right? It's all up to you what you prefer, you know? At the end of the day, it's not the materials that matter, it's the artist behind it. It doesn't matter how beautiful and perfect your materials are, if you can't draw them. <laughs> then it doesn't matter um yeah at the end of the day it's all up to you you know whatever you prefer whatever you want i'm drawing one character in different styles right now right yes so right now we're on jojo um after jojo it's uh vivzy pop which i think is gonna be easier than jojo i'm struggling with this one actually i think i'm gonna keep them in black and white just because it'll be a little bit faster and then they do this fun jazz. Yeah. With the freaking cheekbones. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I think you really nailed the expression. It has the sharp stare, but the eyes looks really great. Thank you. It, I'm not gonna lie. This this expression was fun. I do wish it was on a more, like an older character. <laughs> because it doesn't really fit this 12-year-old kid. But, um... Yeah. You guys don't know any of my older characters, so, so be it. But a bunch of you asked for Grayson, so <laughs> I'll do that. I should try a tablet with a screen. I haven't gotten the hang of drawing on a tablet looking at the screen. Yeah, it's tough for a lot of people. Sometimes it's like you, they go like, oh, I can't work on a screen without a tablet. Sometimes I can work. It's like I can't work on a screen with it or work on a tablet with a screen. Um, again, it's up to you what you want to do. You don't necessarily have to get used to working on a tablet with a screen. My professor actually doesn't use a screen tablet. Um, my current professor, he's really, really cool. <laughs> he doesn't use a tablet with it or screen tablet. He was actually asking us for recommendations. So I was like, you don't necessarily have to get one with a screen. He's like, yeah, but it looks cool. <laughs> and I was like, all right. Um, oops. What did I do? My bad. Um, but yeah. I don't like Wacom. I don't like drawing. I don't like pencils, watercolors, anything art. That's valid. We almost got to know older older character in Grayson series. True. Alan was introduced for like 20 seconds and then he uh and then I decided to rewrite everything. <laughs> I forgot to put the menacing stairs. I don't want to, bro. I know. <laughs> I don't want to have to like look it up because I'm like I don't want to write it incorrectly. <laughs> I'm not about to accidentally perform a cultural appropriation, you know what I'm saying? I'm too scared. I don't want to do that. Put the menacing side. Bro, I don't want- I'm too scared, dude. I'm gonna like- I'm gonna mess something up. And whenever I write something that's in another language, I trace it straight from the, the thing. And I don't want to trace on straight- <laughs> Tell you something was up. It's true. That's true. Yo, he got like 20 years older just in the face. Everything else looks about the same. It's just <laughs> in the face. Shape. This kills me. Oh, no, they do my favorite thing to do. Is that, that That's right, the black chin, which people tell you don't do, but I do it anyway because I don't care. <laughs> don't do this. It makes your neck look flat. You know what, buddy? And you're not doing it right. I'm joking. It's a joke. I didn't <laughs> insert a PNG if you don't want to write it. That feels false, though, you know? Maybe I'll add it afterwards. I'll see how I feel. Do I even have the room? Oh, yeah, I do. It's down here. All right, we'll see if I can do it. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to keep a bunch of these in black and white. Some of the styles are a little bit easier than others, so I'm like banking on that. 
The Pokemon one especially. That one's going to be pretty simple. Ghibli too. Because I've done the Ghibli style quite a bit. It's more to Jojo like during the fight. I didn't realize that a bunch of you were Jojo fans. I was like... <laughs> Ayo subtitles? Ayo? Don't create a manga style. Well, now you've said it, so now I want to do it. <laughs> Just to anger you. That's a joke. I'm joking. That's not. <laughs> Clarifying for everyone. Can't imagine my style of Amogus. What? Just the. Amogus. <laughs> I've actually never drawn it before. I didn't know if I could. <laughs> you want to know a fun fact? I've never played Among Us. I remember telling my brother that and he was like, he got so shocked. He was like, you've never played Among Us? I'm like, no. I never bothered to. <laughs> I was like, eh. I was like, I never got on the hype train. If only Procreate had vector lines, it would beat every app on the tablet. I don't think so. I feel like Clip still beats out on Procreate. I think, like, in a lot of ways. Clip has a much more uh, natural feeling, I think. It, it mimics natural, traditional stuff a little bit better. I've used both. I've used Clip Studio and Procreate, and I feel like Maybe it's just because I really like Photoshop, but Clip handles really, really well. It's really, really smooth. Procreate's smooth as well, but I feel like Procreate is a little bit too simple for me. People have said that like when they switch from a simple program to either Clip or Photoshop, both are like very intimidating to them. So it's like... How do I do this thing? All right, fine. Oh, let's see here. What Grayson's stand would be? Oh, it would be, um... It would just be Ghoul Raphael. But, like... Wrong. I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> I knew a few guys who had this thing memorized. Every single time that they draw something, they'd add it on the side. Just use the rainbow bird stand? I vibe with that. Okay, let's see. What was next? It was Bivzy. Alright. Can I turn this off? Heaven's Door. I don't get any of these references. Y'all have fun! I get like 20 years older when it's like this. <laughs> the references that I don't get. Alright, let's see here. Um. Wow, I've completely forgotten the name. Bruh! Okay, it's okay. Has been hotel, that's great. That's right. I had, what's his name? I had uh, Angel Dust memorized for the longest time because I like, I love that character. He's so fun. It's such a fun design. I have a, I'm very biased to characters like Angel Dust though. So the, the, the character trope, I'm very into that character trope. It's very fun for me. Showing your stream yesterday, the little sister just said you look like a bird. Oh, my little avatar? You know what? That's valid. I vibe with that. Clip Studio is very hard to understand on an iPad. 11-inch game looks small for me. Procreate is very easy to optimize. Yeah, a lot of people like the the simple simplicity of um of Procreate. I like those intense, very like like strong UIs. So I'm very like biased towards 
Yeah, I'm looking at Charlie right now because she has the she has the more humanized face. That's her more humanoid face, I guess. Where's her ears? I guess they're just covered up. My bad. I'll just make them up. Based on the rest of her work. Um, where is his stand, bro? I can't fix. That. I can't fit that. I also don't know anything about JoJo. I don't know how I'd do that. Um, <laughs> Grayson looks amazing. Thank you, Jesse. I don't know if you see it that way, but those menacing stare letters add the extra spice it took from a nine to ten. Okay, thank you. I don't. I didn't know. I don't. I don't know anything about JoJo. I feel like I'm this way with my students too. It's like, it's like Jesse, do something, and I'm like, all right, <laughs> like, a, like an apathetic dad, <laughs> just like, yeah, sure, go for it. Vibsy has a really, really strong style. It's a very, like, um, ironically, a very children's cartoony style. Um, I remember watching Vivzy back when I was 13 or something. Or, like, whenever she made that first, like, animatic with, um, Die Young by Kesha with the werewolf girl. That was my very first thing that I saw of Vivzy's. And, like, I love that video. It was so cool. I feel like if I did ever become the an animator, I feel like she would have been one of the reasons why. Um, but I didn't because I don't have that kind of willpower. <laughs> It's very graphic and very geometric. Don't forget the horns. Oh, you want me to give him horns? I can do that. <laughs> I think that's kind of cute. It's just a little like... <laughs> very on brand as well. Her characters and like the... Like the subject matter is very on brand for me. So it's like, I really do like Bibsy. Her work is just so much fun. It's like, I'm a really big fan of it all. Forget the words. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Do you know, see, stand to be a fun little activity. It would be fun if I if I knew how to do that. <laughs> it's insane how quickly you draw. Thank you. Um, Return has been auto. Oh, my. Yeah, somebody requested Vivzy. Or they requested Pokemon at first, and they asked to replace that with Vivzy's style. Which I was very on board with doing. I remember when Has Been first came out. I think I watched it like four times. <laughs> it's, it's so good. Um, it is more for... Um, it's an adult cartoon, but man, it's good. I just <laughs> love that cartoon so much. I remember teaching a bunch of kids, actually. And they were like, Jesse, have you watched Has Been Hotel? And I looked at them and I'm like, you're too young to watch that. <laughs> but yeah, I mean... In terms of the animation, great time. Hasbin Hotel's color palettes, colorblind esque. I love her style. I feel like I would. It, Hasbin Hotel has a very warm palette. It's very often done with reds. I love red. Best friend's favorite color is red. My favorite color is cerulean, but she really loves red. Um, yeah, it's very warm. It's very poppy, which is like it's very eye catching. I'm a big fan of it just because of how like Alistair is such a good character. Um, I'm a big fan of um, high contrast, like extreme contrast. Bruh. Okay, wait, I can do this. Okay. That would be me. Yeah. Husband was too much of that. Yeah, that's fair enough. No, I loved Angel Dust. I feel like no, he was hundred percent my favorite character. I'm like I feel like I feel like I feel like I'm just biased for those kinds of characters. They're just a lot of fun for me. I don't know. I have like two character tropes that I'm a big fan of, and it's like really like flighty. I found that I really like flighty characters, which is funny because I rarely write flighty characters. And then I really like really strong characters as well. 
Nobody has this pupil, though. Their pupils are all very small. Oh, no, that's not true. Alistair kind of has, but his eyes are very large, so I guess I should make the pupils smaller. Put a fang, too? Oh, true. Let me give him, like, a little fang. He's not really a demon, though. He's just possessed by one, but, like, I'll, I'll include it anyway. <laughs> Which style am I going to draw? This is Vivzy Pop style. Um, after this, it's Brand New Animal, Little Witch Academia, SpongeBob, and then Uncanny Valley, which I still am trying to figure out how I do that. Yeah, it's a very graphic style. The thing with it is, like, it is very... Um, not vector, but it is very much, like, well, maybe vectors, actually. I don't know what um, animation tool they use. But it is very much like a one-stroke kind of style, if that makes sense. So I can't do my my little line trick for this one because then it'll show. That doesn't look right. How will I do this? Let's see here. the way that the eye should be. Yeah, it should be there, but then I gotta figure out the eyebrow. I think it's also bothering me that like I'm very used to having shape with the cheekbones, but she doesn't do that, so I can't add that back in. Or like shape with the chin, I guess. I'll just add a little bit in, just to sate my- yeah, okay, that's a little bit better. Um, just to sate my needs. <laughs> Did they ever do anything with has -been? I was really interested in what they were gonna do with Radio Guy. I believe it got picked up by TV station, so they're working on it, but now they're under DMCA. <laughs> so they can't reveal anything, I don't think. They got Japanese dubs for Hasbro Hotel. Yes, they did. They got um, no Ghibli. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. I completely skipped over Ghibli. I'm so sorry. I, I can't even. Ghibli was supposed to be before JoJo. My bad. Um, I'll do that after I finish this one. Then. My bad. I can't believe I skipped over that one. Okay. Ghibli shouldn't take too long anyway. I did three within the hour. That's not too bad. Um, yeah. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I didn't even realize I missed it. <laughs> sorry about that. Um, yeah, she doesn't do the under the eye. Jesse, if I was a demon and heck, what kind of demon and job would you prefer? Ooh, good question. If I was a, a demon and heck, um, what kind of job would I want? I feel like I wouldn't want a job. I'd want to be like a squatter. I want to live underneath the, like a bridge and spook people. I feel like that'd be really fun. But if I had to choose a job, I feel like I'd want to sort people, sort out people. Oh, no. Yeah. You know what? No, I would definitely want to do that. So then I could read, like, the files. Because, like, you know, they, they gotta have files somewhere. Right? It's like, so I can read, like, what they did. I think that'd be kind of funny. Yeah, it's very geometric. I love geometric styles. If I was a demon in heck. If Jesse honest. Yeah, my bad. Sorry about that, Samantha. Artist de Artemis Demon kind of cool. Yeah, I vibe with that. Yeah, that's that's pretty sick too. But I'm a very big like, I like to know stories. I like to know things. So I like if I was the one sorting out everybody, I'd be like, oh yeah, now I know all your tea. I think that that's what I'd want to know. You just described a troll, yeah. A squatter. <laughs> I feel like that's all that the troll under the bridge was. He was just a squatter. Like yeah, they had to they had to deal with him somehow. Yeah, she doesn't add any like single strands. It's all very 
blocked and bunched together, which is really fun. It's a big graphic. This is a tangent. It's a big graphic thing. A very, very cartoony sort of style. Well, obviously, but, you know. And it'd be like... Or there's like really, really simple binds. It's like maybe like one or two, but that they go directly to the hairline. Oof, sheesh. Those lines are a little bit rough. I don't know what's happening there, but I'll live with it. <laughs> Never drawn his hair like this before, so... I don't know. Just kind of experimenting a bit. Fibsy pop. Now the best thing with Ghibli is that I can kind of do this one from memory. So <laughs> Oops, my bad. Because I've drawn so many Ghibli things. <sighs> what kind of demon would you want to be if you were to go there? Ooh. I don't want to be an imp. Small and annoying. <laughs> I feel like that's a, that's a fun one. Don't mind graphic animation. Courage the Cowardly Dog. Oh, Courage the Cowardly Dog is a great style. That's a fun one. I believe she said that she was encouraged or she was um, inspired by courage. How many years of experience do you have in Clip Studio? Not many. I, I don't work in Clip as my primary. Clip is my secondary um, thing that I use. Um, but I, I definitely do love Clip Studio. Um, but I use Photoshop more often. Photoshop, I have a good seven years under my belt using it. Clip I got a couple years ago, I think, but I don't really use it that frequently, so I'm not that intuitive with it. Samantha, would you mind if I decided to do the uh, the big Ghibli tears? Just because I really I I have a I have a hankering to draw tears right now. Okay, maybe I do need a reference. <laughs> do you think an eleven inch iPad is good for Clip? Because I have one. Any, you can use anything with Clip. That's the beautiful thing with it. But the thing is, is always that Clip on an iPad requires a subscription. Yeah, I ever wish it was a single time. Yeah. I use Clip on my computer, so it is a single time. And I got a Surface. I got a Surface because it's technically just a touchscreen laptop. So I can use that as my quote unquote tablet. And it's a one time subscription over there as well. some kind of demon i'd be yeah an imp an imp small and annoying do it all right sick um can you sleep straight for days because the 3d ghost of courage bro courage the cowardly dog was so good i never watched like any full episodes but man all the clips that i saw looked so good god i love studio ghibli style this is like a very opposite of Vivzi. Vivzi has a very strong graphic style, whereas Ghibli has a very soft, kind of more naturalistic style, I guess is the best way I can describe it. And it's beautiful. It's a really great looking style. Yeah, I'm a big hankering for the giant Studio Ghibli tears. I love Ghibli's tears. They're so like big and blobby. They're so fun. I was like, Every single time that somebody cries, it's like, it makes me want to cry, but like the, the tears are so good. Also, Grayson just cries a lot. So like, it's, <laughs> it seems natural to draw him with tears. Um, can I five handle Clip Studio smoothly with a drawing tablet? Yeah. Oh, it's exactly the one you had in mind. Oh, the Ramsey's 3D goes. I see, I see. 
Jojo Grayson would beat up Jojo Grayson. Grayson would beat up nobody. Grayson is, he's too soft for <laughs> any of that. Everything in Ghibli is so bubbly, 100%. I love the way that Ghibli looks. It's like, it's such a beautiful style. It has so much character. It's like, a, it's so like, even though it's, it's like a very soft kind of looking style, it's so like characterized and everybody looks so beautiful. It's such like a good, like soft look. It's a lot of fun. Core Duo is able to handle Clip Studio. Clip is a very low powered, it's a very low powered um, program. That's the great thing about it is like, you don't need anything crazy for it. Ooh, it's fine. Okay, let me just finish the sketch real quick then. Oh, this is gonna be fun to line. All right. <laughs> when AFK to take care of some things, I come back to crying, Grace, and why do you do this? It's Ghibli. I need to draw the blobby Ghibli tears. The only thing that I need to do. You also missed a whole like clip studio conversation. So, Jesse, would you try the Meat Canyon? I love Meat Canyon. If I have the time, for sure. All right, though. Before I move on to lining. Let's talk a bit about the studios. If you did not know, we are not just an YouTube channel. We're not just a YouTube channel. We are also an art studio. So if you'd like to check out the classes that we offer, be sure to check those out on our website. I am one of the instructors. Sometimes the instructors pop into the chat, but today they're not here. That's okay. Um, but if you would like to check out the classes that we offer currently, we are in our fall term. So if you'd like to check out any of the ones that we offer, feel free to do so on our website. This file that you see in front of you will be available as a JPEG for you to download on our Discord. So if you'd like to join the Discord, be sure to, so you can keep it, save it, do whatever you want with it. Just do not repost it. You can do whatever you want with the finished file once I do it. But um, if you would like any of my working files, you're going to have to join our Patreon for as little as $5 a month. You can have all of my or some of my working files and you'll have behind the scenes stuff from Wing Canvas from us to you. Um, you can support the channel for as little as $2 a month, but with $5, that is when you get all my working files. So be sure to check those out. And we do also have limited spots that you need to get before they run out. So be sure to check those out before they are gone. Grill me a cheese. Very good. Father, I crave cheddar. I too crave cheddar. <laughs> F lol. Yeah, you missed the big Clip Studios. Is Daria an instructor? No. Daria is one of our lovely designers. If you see all of the thumbnails for the YouTube channel, she does most of them. No, I believe she does all of them. Right, Daria? You and Jaren, I think, used to split it, but now you just do all of them. <laughs> Yeah, Dar if you ever see the lovely thumbnails on YouTube, Daria does all of them. Um, I believe Daria does other design stuff, but um, it's slipping my mind currently. Most of the people that you'll see as mods on the channel are either co-op students or um, other volunteers, mostly. Discord link, it should be there. Um... Oh, it should be in the, uh, I think my cuts out. <laughs> um, the Discord should be in the description. Joining the show here on YouTube. Yeah, Daria does all of the lovely thumbnails. Um, I do the upload scheduling. So, um, I'm the one who kind of uploads the videos. I'm the one who, um, preps the streams as well. So I'm the one who pre sets up the streams. Um, but Daria does all of the... Beautiful thumbnails. Jesse drawing Meat Canyon. I'm very excited for Meat Canyon. Um, oh, there's one Meat Canyon video that I really love, and I don't remember what it's called. I think it's Meat Canyon. It's like the the guy he's just like running through the hallway screaming. <laughs> I think that's Meat Canyon, or maybe that's somebody else. I don't know. Grandpa. What's the meaning of life? Well, son, look to the stars. Is, <laughs> is that Meat Canyon too? I'm like, my brain is telling me that I really love Meat Canyon, but I'm not sure if I'm getting all the videos mixed up. It's, there's so many. <laughs> Marketing assistant. Okay, there you go.
Ghibli's lines are really hard for me just because they're so thin. I I like as I've gotten older, I like I am not a thin line artist anymore. I, I like it's like they have to be super thick. Um it's a great challenge though, because I don't do thin like this anymore. The Make Your Wishes episode. Yeah, okay. There you go. Grandfather, what's the meaning of life? <laughs> See the stars because of all the light pollution. So true. So sad. Inner Twitch chatter came out. I don't watch a lot of Twitch streamers. I watch their YouTube channels and then I don't watch the actual streams that they do. <laughs> Apologies if I ever go kind of silent. It means I'm focusing a little bit harder. Ugh, okay. Yeah, my bad. I didn't realize I'd skipped Ghibli. I was like, when are we going to get to Ghibli? I know I, re I know somebody requested it. <laughs> I didn't realize it was first on the list. This command is broken. Which one? The, the Discord one? Jesse, what inspired Grayson's mom to give him that bowl card? Okay, funny story. So Grayson, this, the plot of it was supposed to be like a lot darker than it is right now. Um, so my brain, when I first thought of like what haircut to give Grayson, I was like, what's the most conservative, like kind of like, yeah, what's the most conservative haircut I can give this kid? And I was like, let's just go with a bowl cut. And I thought it was really funny. And I couldn't, I couldn't keep, I couldn't like take it seriously for a really long time. And then, like, when it started to gain a little bit more traction, I was like, I gotta change this haircut. But, or, like, I, I wanted to change it eventually. But then as time went on, it just stuck. I was like, all right, I'll just stick with the bowl cut, I guess. And, like, I never changed it. <laughs> so he was originally gonna have, like, it, it was a bowl cut that I first came up with because it was, like, I was like, what's the most conservative haircut I can think of? Um, but, and then I was like, I gotta change this. But then I just never did because it stuck and it became, like, a symbol of the kid. So I was like, all right, I'll just keep it. <laughs> He loses the haircut when he gets older, but I guess that's kind of spoilers. <laughs> what can you do, my effeminate fellow? <laughs> I laughed too hard at that line. I hope you know that. I laughed very hard at that line. <laughs> do you and buddy, you can't tune a, tune a piano, but you can tune a fish. Very nice. Um... Don't be like Jesse, you don't give your cuts bulk kids bulk cuts so. Seems very easy to use Clip Studio until I try it. Clip is definitely not a beginner friendly program. Um, there are so many tutorials online that you can use to get used to it. Um, but it is a lot of, especially if you're coming from a very simple program, it's very difficult to use. But true, everything does have rough starts though. You gotta get used to it. I learned how to use Photoshop, not from a tutorial, but from a, a, an animator. Because I saw that they were they used Photoshop to draw. My dad's a photographer. So we already had, like, a, before Photoshop had the, the cloud thing, my dad already had, like, a like a Photoshop, like, bot that he used because, like, he needed it. And I was like, yo, my dad has Photoshop. It's like, I can ask him to load it on my computer and I can draw digitally, finally. So my dad, like, uploaded it, it, uploaded it to my computer. And then I started learning how to draw digitally and because i watched her do it i watched her how like how she made they were speed paints so i watched them at like <laughs> like 50 times speed oh the the artist is scribble netty by the way i was really into like her youtuber animations um 
and I was like, I was like, yo, she's using like, and I figured out how to use layers and like all that stuff just by watching her over and over. And yeah, that's how I learned how to draw digitally. <laughs> it's just by watching speed paints. Everybody learns differently though. So if you think that you need a tutorial, then definitely do that. Um, but I don't tend to use tutorials. I tend to just kind of watch speed paints and pick up what they do. <laughs> I can't hear you. I can't sing it because I could get copyright rated, but uh, yes. <laughs> Oof, this lining was tough. I'm done with the face, though, so that's the hard part over. We need brushes for Clip Studio. Everyone uses different brushes. There are so many, like, more than Procreate, it's easier to find free Clip Studio paint brushes than Procreate. Oh, somebody else asked for, like, free Procreate brushes. I was like, I couldn't name any, but I can name a ton for Clip Studio. Um, my favorite, I will always say, is Devin Elkert's. This is some of my favorite, more graphic brushes. This is not how Ghibli does their ears. How does Ghibli do their ears? It's just... Oh, actually, no, that was pretty close. It was, like... And then, there we go. Doom Slayer. I have a student who really loves Doom. Hey, Doom costume and Smash. I don't play Smash anymore. Not as much anyway, but congratulations to the, the Kingdom Hearts fans. They got, a, they got Sora in Smash. I don't know anything about Kingdom Hearts. I want to keep it that way. I think that those Kingdom Hearts out of context videos are so funny. And they're better because I don't have any context. The Kingdom Hearts seems ridiculous. I know that people love Kingdom Hearts. There's like some real big fans of Kingdom Hearts. And I feel like all of them have admitted that Kingdom Hearts is ridiculous. But I want to keep that mystifying ridiculous in there, you know, because I don't know anything about Kingdom Hearts. And I think it's funnier that way. I know who Sora is. I know that Goofy and Mickey are in there. And like a lot of characters are in there. And it's like, I don't know, man. I <laughs> don't know anything about Kingdom Hearts. G Pen is built in. Yes. Yes, it is. This is just a. Default pen. All right, who's next? This was Ghibli. I can't single dot. I don't think I could do that before anyway, though. Ghibli, and then what was it? Oh, B and A. Okay, let's figure out this one. I actually have not got a proper look at Brand New Animal. Oh, this is easy enough. Okay. This main character's so cute. She's so cute. The McFlurry machine was never meant to work. It's just always broken. It looks so good. You're so talented. Thank you. Everybody always says it's like, oh, the ice cream machine is always broken. I have never been to a McDonald's where the ice cream machine is broken. Every single time that I go to McDonald's, the ice cream machine is perfectly fine. I don't know if it's an American thing. I don't. <laughs> I've never been to a McDonald's where the ice cream machine is broken. Oh no, I've been once. Every other time, it's perfectly fine. Like, I'll go, it's like, hey, I need a McFlurry. And then they'll, like, okay. And it's like, they never, it's never not working. <laughs> I mean, the furry word will try. The thing is, is that a lot of people are like, ooh, it's like, it's like furries. I don't see, mm, well, okay. So, How do I, how do I explain this? I have nothing against furries. I think that's one thing that like the internet hates a lot more than should, than it should be hated. <laughs> I 
I feel like I'm perfectly fine with them. And then it's like the entire internet gets mad at them very easily. Um, I'm a really big fan of, um, I guess, quote unquote, more mature anthropomorphic designs. I love BNA's designs a lot. Um, B Stars is a good example, actually. I really like the way that they look. Agretzico is adorable. I don't know. I feel like it's just something that gets a lot of hate that doesn't necessarily need to. I feel like everybody's cringe and they don't like to admit it. <laughs> I guess I should give them the, the ears too, huh? Because they're all animals. I can do that. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Neither have I I've always looked out with the ice cream machine. Yeah, exactly. I've never seen one that was, like, broken. <laughs> no, no one lives your perfect life. <laughs> McFlurry machine is perfectly fine. I'm sorry. Maybe the McDonald's that you're near are just whack. I don't know. Doraemon. Does Doraemon count as... I don't think so. I feel like they're, cause they're just creatures, aren't they? I don't know what Doraemon is. Like, I don't... Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Aren't they just creatures? I don't I don't know. <laughs> this is a very anime way of adding ears, even though I don't like it. It's against my morals. Thank God for this big blobby hair, though. Not thank God for the intensely clean, thin line work, though. That's gonna end me. There's a lot of personality within an art style. It's not just the the line work or just the way that they, you know, uh, the way that their anatomy works. It is that's a very big chunk of it, um, but it is also the coloring style. It's the way they shade, the materials they use, right? Even the shape of the brush sometimes. That one's a really big one too. You can imitate styles without changing your brush, but. Usually it helps, <laughs> especially if it's digital. Um, in this case, though, I am just working with lines just so I can s scoot more requests in there. Um, but normally I would also imitate the coloring style as well. And release all the sounds trapped within your mind. That's a great video. I love that video. I judge animators against my orals. No, no, no. The way that they're placed. I remember the animal stream. Were you there? The mammal stream? I talked about how it's not realistic. <laughs> the placement of them. I love animal ears. I love foxes. Um, but normally what you do is you'd connect them down to here. So then it matches where the eardrum is on the human body. That's me. You know, like, again, the very anime way of adding eyes. Or the adding the the cat ears, they just like to kind of slap them on top here. That's not how it works, but it is how it works with a cat's eardrums, but not necessarily with people. Jesse, is this worth simping? I don't know. Um, what are you simping for? Um, Grayson is twelve, so I don't know if you should simp for a twelve-year-old, but uh. <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't know how old you are. Um, just gonna put that warning out there. I am 20. This child is not 20. So, 
I'm just kind of setting that out there. Um, but I don't know what you're simping for, but you know. This guy looks like he could carry All Might's legacy. He might cry less than Deku too. I don't know, man. I feel like Gray Grayson would rival Deku in how much Deku cries. I do. <laughs> he got the nickname Sad Bull Boy from one of my friends. Oh, these lines are gonna murder me. Okay. <laughs> I remember somebody on Webtoon actually asked me once, who's like, how old is Grayson? Because uh, I don't want to sim for, you know, a child. And I, I'm sitting there, I'm like, it's in the it's in the comic description. It's the first, like, sentence, but, like, okay. Um, do you know what, though? I appreciate them asking. That's very responsible of them. <laughs> Point art so queen. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Brandon. Welcome in. I'm struggling. This, this, I'm not used to these thin lines. This, <laughs> without any... <laughs> Line variation hurts me. Their lines are also colored. That's the thing. Um, I'm not going to color these lines, but their lines would be colored. Same with Little Witch Academia. They have very colored lines. They're really great line work. It's a great line work, but I'm not used to it. <laughs> Turning 20 on the 19th this month. Oh, happy early birthday. Oh my gosh, sorry. I, I don't know if you heard that. It's the crack of my bones. Thanks to Waze. Justine, Japanese Asian parents apparently is kind of so sad mistake and I got you and thought Grayson was 900. No, he's just a kid. <laughs> if I draw a child, they'll look like a child. I don't like the anime rule where it's like they're 900 years old, but they look like six. I hate that. That's a trope that I really don't like. It's like, I'm like, oh. Whenever I see that, it's usually a character that I instantly hate. <laughs> it's like, I'll look at that, I'm like, oh, yeah. It's very rare that I like a character like that. It's like, you better have a good character arc, dude. But if I never get to know them, then it's just I have an innate dislike for them, you know? A lot of these lines are so thin because they're all anime. Grace is the type of guy to listen to Simple Plans. I'm just a kid. My life is a nightmare, unironically. Nah, try Teenagers by My Chemical Romance. That's the one. <laughs> Teenagers by My Chemical Romance. Um, I had I had a song list for Grayson. Oh, from a while back. I had one that, like, describes his personality and one that he actually listens to. Teenagers by My Chemical Romance. Um, Bones by Of Mice and Men. That's one. Uh, oh my god, there was a rap song, too. I'll never remember it. How much time will it take to learn Clip Studio? Don't know. Depends on the person. Give Grayson whiskers? I don't see any of the BNA characters with whiskers, though. 
None of them have whiskers, yeah. So I will leave them off. <laughs> All right, let's see. BNA is done. Okay, what was after BNA? I don't remember. We're making good time, actually. Little Witch Academia. Somebody, they did mention that Little Witch is really similar to BNA. I guess because it's the same. Yeah, you know what? It's the same studio. It's really, really similar. I think I'm going to skip over this one just because it's so similar. Yeah, okay. SpongeBob. How am I going to do this one? Oh, in God's name, am I going to do this one? There's no people in this show. There's no... Cleopas <laughs> looks on the lives and the books. It's a good song. I'm not going to lie. Um... Yeah, how much time will it take to learn clip? I don't know. It's it, it's it depends on the person, right? I also don't own an iPad. I don't like iPads. Um, it's all about your willingness, I guess. Sorry, I'm staring at SpongeBob for a second. I need to figure out how I'm gonna do this. Are you doing the uncanny? Uncanny is after SpongeBob. A book reason better be rectangular sponge. I don't know, man. I'm not I'm not vibing with that. I want to do something different. So I'm like, I want it to ring like SpongeBob, but not actually be just a SpongeBob character. You know? Cause SpongeBob's the only sponge. Everybody else is like a strange fish, <laughs> you know? Sorry, I'm just staring at this for a second and thinking. What the? What is this? Oh, I see. Humanized versions. Okay. You can't see. I'm so sorry. You can't see any of my references. They're off to the side, but like. Yeah, because most of them are like just fish, right? And it's like. Squidward mixed with Sandy? Possibly. Because then you have like the, the, the more quote-unquote human anatomy within there but i don't know if they're folding hey i'm back what i miss hello nathan welcome in we're on spongebob we've done um tim burton jojo's bizarre adventure viv pop jim lee bna and now we're on spongebob and i'm just staring at spongebob images trying to figure this out <laughs> mr crumb's crazy would be wild i will not be doing that thank you <laughs> i get a choice in this. oh wait there are humans it's just like the what's his name the superhero guy he's like the only person oh and this i guess the pirate in the beginning but like i don't know <laughs> he's the fish guy with the soda so you, what yeah no that's what i'm thinking but i'm like <sighs> so spending three hours a day for six months can i learn how to use all the functions like you i don't know man that's a, that's a question i can't answer <laughs> It's it's all about your willingness, because uh, especially like some people get really fed up with digital programs really quickly, and like you have to have that want to learn it. Sometimes you'll learn it quicker. Sometimes you'll take longer. It's it's not up to me. Like I can't give you a definite answer. That's up to you. Okay, let's just start drawing. That's like my thing. Oops. Yeah, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. That's the that's the one. I'm like. Let's actually bring it on SpongeBob. What does Barnacle Boy even look like? I straight up don't remember. Oh, I see. Okay. I'm not giving him that face. <laughs> there is hair in this. There is hair. It's very. Okay, I think I know what I'm doing. I just gotta, like, figure out how I'm gonna do. I need an example of hair real quick. Because some characters do have hair. I just gotta look at it for a sec. SpongeBob. The fish, yeah. Let's look at the fish for a second. Yeah, because some of them do have. They have hair. It's like. But it's all one shape. So I'm trying to figure this out. <laughs> My leg. I feel. <sighs> I didn't watch a lot of Spongebob as a kid. I know a lot of people did. Like, I, 
SpongeBob's a cartoon I didn't watch a lot of. When I was younger, I watched a lot of Ben 10. I really like Ben 10. I like Johnny Test. I like Totally Spies. Um, I was really into Ben 10, actually. Ben 10 was a really big one. I loved Ben 10. Johnny Test, too. I really like Jimmy Two Shoes. My dad didn't like that cartoon. <laughs> I love Jimmy Two Shoes. It was so dumb. I think that's one great. Have I ever watched the Japanese dub? I have not. If it's, it's okay if it's too hard. We can skip. No, no, no. I got you. I got it. I got it. It's okay. I'm just gonna, like, figure this out. It just takes me a second. I got it. It's fine. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. We got this. I got it. It's like, it's not a hard style. I just have to translate it. That's all. Let's turn off the correction real quick. Um... I should drop plankton. I'm thinking of a fish. That's the thing. It's like I'm thinking of like the. Oh, I think I kind of got it. Like the. And then it's always just one big. <laughs> this is so cursed. Um, stick looking all good, yeah. I would just, uh, yes, I agree with you, Brandon. I would just dive into it if I were you. CSP, in my opinion, isn't super complex. It only took me a few days to familiarize, familiarize myself with everything. Obviously, um, I don't remember what that stands for, but I think you wouldn't have too much of a problem. Yes, it is definitely like, I find that it's not beginner friendly, but it, it, as long as you stay at it for a while, it, it's not going to be that tough to at least get the basics down. You did mention that you wanted to draw like me, and drawing like me, again, I've been drawing for A my entire life, B, I've been drawing digitally for like seven years, so it's been a long time how I've been drawing, right? It's a toilet guy one, I have no clue. <laughs> I just, I found one and I was like, I can translate this, I think. Flapjack was something else. That's one that I really want to learn, I want to watch. I watched maybe an episode of that. I was too scared of it when I was a kid. Because when I was a kid, I really hated horror. And I only started liking horror when I got older. Um, but when I was a kid, I hated horror. So it was too scary for me. But now I really want to watch it again. Because like I want to I see if I think it's funny. They have those like... Because I don't have like... They don't have bones. It's like... <laughs> this is the weirdest request I've ever gotten. <laughs> you know what? Thank you for the challenge. Picasso grabbing real quiet since Jesse started showing his Picasso. Oh my god. Crop him into the back room of a wet chap webtoon chapter? Hmm. We'll see. If I have the guts. Jesse, can you draw with Spongebob by dropping your finished art and turn it into a circle? I'm sorry, I'm really confused what that means. When you use the app like you, I can't draw like you in such a short time. Don't idolize me. I'm not a good idol. <laughs> I'm just gonna straight up say that. Um, the way that I learn is very unorthodox. It really is. And it's like, it's what's unique to me. You need to find what works for you, dude. I, I can't. I can't teach you how to be exactly like me because uh, A, it's my own journey and no two journeys are exactly the same. B, um, it took a long time. And I'm going to stress that it's going to take a long time because a lot of people are like, hey, art, it's easy. I can learn it really quick. No, you can't. Right? It takes so many years to perfect it. There's a lot of knowledge that you have to build up. So don't compare yourself to me. That's not a good idea. Don't compare yourself to any really advanced artist. Maybe use them as an idea of where the, a goal you want to get to. But an artist should not be something that you idolize. You shouldn't idolize anybody, really. It's not great to have, like, a perfect idol. A vision of what you want to be. I'm still learning, right? I am not... 
a vision of what's the final goal. I'm not where I want to be, right? I'm getting close, but I'm not exactly where I want to be, right? Can I draw on Gravity Falls or Rick and Morty? I can definitely do that. I, I love Gravity Falls. Um, if I have the time. <laughs> I get a bit of a Mickey Mouse impression. That's pretty sick. Jesse Spongebob had an art episode of Squidward as Spongebob to draw a circle. The Spongebob method was complete a perfect human drawing and erase parts of it until it becomes a circle. That's felt. Yeah. You know what? Me. My favorite episodes of the one of like cartoons are the ones where they kind of break the fourth wall. Like in terms of like they open it up to the art studio. It's like a Kirby right back at you. The Kirby anime. If you didn't know that was a thing, I have seen all 100 episodes twice over. <laughs> but they they had like an animation episode. That episode was really funny. Um, they did the same thing with uh, The Amazing World of Gumball. That's a great cartoon. Um and they like ran out of money for the budget or something and you got to see like the storyboards and <laughs> they, they animated them on sticky notes it was really funny that was a good episode do we need the courage cowardly dogs art style can i can i do it if i have time sure I don't think I will. We're getting close to the end. Um, but I'll fit in as many as I can. Uncanny Valley is going to be real tough. I just hope you know that. Um, Pinkie Pie. Like, from My Little Pony? Which generation? <laughs> that matters. I'm trying to say is I want to use the app like you knowing all the functions, not drawing, just using the app. Sorry, I'm a little confused. They're like, you want to... Yeah, sorry, I'm a little confused. I don't... <laughs> Gumball episode where Richard gets fit is incredible. Yes. Comes out of the fountain flexing. Gumball's just an immaculate show. It's so good. Um, is the app like you knowing all the functions but not drawing just using the app? So you want to, like know all the functions and you also like want to just get better at drawing in general again don't don't idolize me for that there's a lot of different this is better artists um but um i get that's just gonna take practice you gotta get used to the functions that's all gen 5 fourth wall break oh yes have you ever seen a face like this yeah then they showed the gen 3 pinkie pie yeah how do i know this uh i watched three seasons of My Little Pony in three days back in seventh grade. Um, when I was maybe five, I was a super hard My Little Pony stan. Like, I, but that was like pre Friendship is Magic, so pre Gen 5, right? So like, I really loved like the books. I read a lot of the books when I was like a really young kid. Um, and then in seventh grade, someone was like, you gotta watch Friendship is Magic. And I was like, why? And they're like, it's so good. And I was like, all right, I'll trust you. <laughs> so I did and I got hooked. <laughs> I haven't seen My Little Pony since I was in eighth grade, so it's been a really long time. Um, but I do remember that episode very clearly when Pinkie Pie got cloned a lot. That was a good episode. <laughs> Hated Gumball as a kid, but as an adult, some quality content, honestly. <laughs> it's, it's a good time. Uh, SpongeBob. I feel bad watching MLP. Just your voice is really similar with Pinkie Pie. Is it? Thank you. <laughs> Why do you feel bad? Don't feel bad. MLP's great. <laughs> okay, uncanny. All right. Let's see if I can do this. This one might end up taking the rest of the time because this one's going to be tough. Because uncanny, uncanny valley, for those who don't know, uncanny valley is the idea that something... Um, it's like not quite, it's like you look at a person or you look at something and it feels like kind of off and you either can't place it or you can and you can't really describe it. So then alarm bells start going off in your brain. If you look up on Canada Valley, feel free to, but it's, it's kind of creepy. Um, it's a horror, it's a horror trope. I love Uncanny Valley. It's my favorite thing ever. Um, 
I might actually keep this one to just a sketch, just because it'll be more effective that way. But I need to figure this one out. Thought you would draw Patrick? No. <laughs> ah, yes, the the spooky MLP. Yeah, that's a that's a subgenre. Honestly, was never into the spooky MLP subgenre. I know a lot of people were, and I was like, I kind of liked it when I was younger, but I wasn't too into the edginess. I like to create my own edginess. So, like, that was never, like, my favorite way of doing it. Oh, sorry, maybe Multiverse Grayson chapter is coming? Oh, perhaps. No, I have all the chapters planned out until, like, chapter 8. <laughs> Human like Android. It's not always Android. Sometimes it's just, like, the way that something's illustrated. And it feels wrong in a strange way. One of my favorite examples of Uncanny Valley that I've heard, I haven't actually seen it, but it's, like, that all the elements on the face were just a little bit too large that was a really really good one it, that spooked me like just thinking about it it's like everything on the face like the face was right but it just felt too large on it like it was like that there's something really creepy about that i was like oh that's good yeah off-putting it's like off-putting in a strange way I, I love uncanny valley another good one is like having too many teeth too many teeth in the mouth. I'm not used to drawing too many teeth. It's like you look at a at a smile and there's just too many teeth there. That's a really good one. Now, whenever I teach art, whenever I teach my students, I tell them don't include the teeth. Don't actually draw in both rows of teeth or any rows of teeth don't draw in the teeth completely right you really shouldn't um because that's a common horror trope so unless you want your smiles to look really creepy you don't include all the teeth but it's the best if you want to like make something look a little bit scarier For Halloween, are they going to let you go ham with the horror drawing? Because I've been stoked to see you in your full element. I'm not sure. I, I have a creature design stream coming up. I'll have to. I'll have to get um, approval from the great Faye. Um, but I'll have to. I'll have to see. I might. Uh, I might try to convince her. Once I got introduced with Uncanny Valley fan sleep is useless it's so good it's so good like analog horror uncanny valley with analog horror is literally the best there's a really good one that was released on an animators channel it was a i think you can look it up it's just called blue channel it's a really good one the thing with Uncanny Valley, so I have to kind of push that, you know? I can't make the shine that's gonna make it too cute. Just gotta kind of get rid of that. And you just gotta make things slightly off. That's the fun bit. So then that means I'm not gonna flip this eye. I'm just gonna leave it. Actually, maybe I should flip the eye. Because, um, mm. yeah, because the pupils are a little bit off. Yeah, cool. Okay. Fun. All right, let's, oops. My bad. Have you ever gotten scared of your clothing that looks like a monster in your room? Yes. <laughs> I feel like that's something that happens to a lot of people. I forgot the underlines. I got, you know what? No, I shouldn't do that. Nor should I add this. It's better without it. Yeah. I should, probably shouldn't add eyebrows. I'll keep them in. Whatever. Um, Uncanny Valley is really good. It's a great horror element. But it's hard to get right. I don't think I'm doing it right, but I'm kind of having fun with it. <laughs> So this is how I do slightly more realistic faces, if you ever wanted to know. 
What if you accidentally summoned an ungodly horror while you're doing Latin homework? Oh no. Well, that's your own fault, I guess. Just make things slightly off, you know? Just slightly. And that's the beauty of uncanny. Is that it's uncanny. It's not meant to look perfectly correct. I am I do think I'm gonna leave this one as a sketch just because I think the effect is better. No, <laughs> it's already creeping me out. Beautiful, as it should. <laughs> I remember doing an assignment for school. It was my final for art class. And my teacher was like, hey guys, I feel sleepy. Me too. Maybe move the nose in one direction. Hmm. We'll see. Oops. Oh, LOL. My bad. Let's merge these down again. No, that feels a little bit... Because uncanny is that the thing with uncanny is that you need to, oops, you need to find that balance between it being uncanny and looking kind of goofy. If you end up getting the goofy side of it, then the effect is lost. So you need to make sure that you're kind of doing it in a certain way. It looks like I have No More Heroes too. I haven't played that game. Those eyes are uncomfy, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I remember doing an art project once and my teacher was like, Jessica, this is nightmarish. And I was like, thanks. Because it was meant to be. And I got into my first college with that piece. So I mean, whatever. <laughs> it was an idea for a video game called Karen's Chicken Strips. And it started out as a joke, but then it became a survival horror. It was really fun to design because I designed this demon baby. It was like, I wanted to be as gross as possible. So I like did like... Oh, it was so fun. One day, maybe I'll draw that demon baby for somebody, but <laughs> I haven't drawn it in a very long time. Oh, that's better. Kind of enhances it a little bit more. Yes, there we go. Nice. Put the nose up a little bit more, like higher on the face. That one actually might work. I think that actually fixed the proportion. <laughs> I think that fixed it a little bit. Um... Hmm. You know what? Yeah. I think that fixed the proportions, but I think it works actually. <laughs> Grayson asked me for your shredded cheese. <laughs> I don't think you want anybody look. If somebody looking at you like this, I think there's a problem. I'm not gonna lie. Get more sleep, child. Yes, get more sleep. Sleep is good. Thankfully, I got an extension on one of my assignments so I can sleep tonight, but uh, I will have to finish it eventually. <laughs> yeah, this is good. This is fun. <laughs> this is a fun one. I like this one. <laughs> I love horror. God, I love horror. <laughs> I was like working on an assignment. I was just listening to like a podcast with horror. It's a good time. My toddler stares at me. Oh no. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I'm going to leave it like that. Let's see. Can I adjust this? Oh, yes, I can. Nice. Okay, cool. All right. Epically, epic style, epic swag. You kind of see what I mean? Like this isn't like a perfect ideation of what Uncanny Valley is, but you know, that just like slightly off. What was the next one? Meat Canyon. Oh, can I do Meat Canyon? I've only got 10 minutes left, let's see. Can I send the full version? I will indeed. Um, they will always be available on the Discord as a JPEG for you to keep. Blood on the tracks. I actually don't know what that is. Oh, is it a manga? It's a manga. 
Oh, true. Oh, I do know this artist. I was like, I was like, that seems familiar. Yeah, I do know this art style. I want to read this manga. Eat the chapstick is. You guys are just wake woke up, you stretch and start screaming. I just start screaming without stretching. I feel like that's just how you're supposed to wake up. I hate myself for requesting this. That's okay. You know what? I'm happy that you did. <laughs> did he do the baby? Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Thank you, me, Ken. Very cool. Uh, oh, Just Beyond the Golden Arch is such a good video. Oh, no. <laughs> How am I going to do this one? Can I do this one? I think I'm going to have to leave this one as a sketch, too. Because we're getting close to the end. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> let's go. Oh, let's turn my... I see that pressure back on. The thing with Meat Canyon is you're supposed to like go like wild with the <laughs> expressions. I don't know what I'm doing. I think for this style, I needed to shut my brain off. I think that's just what I need to do. Yeah, I just need to shut my brain off. That helps. Who suggested me, Canyon? You're wild. You're wild. The baby. <laughs> the baby's so good. <laughs> Chip Lee Grayson looks like he's crying about Uncanny Valley Grayson. It's so true. I'm uncomfortable. I feel that paranoia creeping up on me, as it should. I feel like that, that happens when you get used to, when you start to indulge in horror more, and then, like, you have that creeping paranoia for a really long time. And then, like, you finally get used to it when, like, you just indulge with it more. She got random stuff. I'll check it out later. <laughs> Grill me a cheese, brother. <laughs> I feel like I'm pulling out some Sir Palo into this one. I don't know. I'm like that kind of like unhinged animator style. That's kind of what I'm going for right now. <laughs> Random stuff sounds so familiar. I'm like, I know what that is, but I don't remember it. Random stuff. Like, the name is so familiar. I'm trying to think who this is. Hmm. I guess I'll think about it more because I don't remember for some reason. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is really fun too. <laughs> I think I'm like taking a bit of the uh... Uh, what's that one baby meme that eats the camera? That one. 
I think that's what my first instinct was when I started drawing the face. <laughs> and I don't know where it went from there. He doesn't add any eyelashes. No, he doesn't. This is terrifying. I love this one. <laughs> what would I look like in an alternate universe? I don't know. It depends what the universe is. Because it could be like, I could look like anything. I could look like uh, me, Canyon Grayson, right now. I, could, I very well could. Epic. <laughs> Can I do one more in five minutes? Because somebody requested. Gra I think Daria requested Gravity Falls as well. Because I used to draw Gravity Falls stuff a lot when I was younger. Well, maybe I can. Oh, I'm gonna have to separate these layers. Let's see here. Oh, I can just turn this off. I'm because I'm not using it. Um. A cowabunga from TMNT. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> cowabummer, dude. Alright. This is where I watched my parents die, Parappa. Okay, let's see if I can... Because I used to draw Dipper and Mabel a lot when I was a kid. Gravity Falls has that really distinct style as well. Again, another harsh one. I could probably do this in five minutes. Just gonna s keep the sketch style, though. A <laughs> seafood diet. I've, se I've heard that joke so many times. It's, like, ingrained in me. I've already... <laughs> American children's cartoons love this overlapping eye look. The best thing about this style is that he doesn't have any. <laughs> There's no like, um,. detail within the ears like little to no like it's not a very detailed style so it makes it very very easy to draw everyone oh i could probably line this let's go <laughs> that's called speed boys oops let's merge this down with this Oh yeah, I can line this one. Let's go. <laughs> That's called speed. Let's go. Do you think Mabel deserves the backlash from season three? I didn't finish Gravity Falls. I. <laughs> it's another thing that I wish I did finish, but I never did. I have no clue what she did. Mabel deserves none of the hate that she gets. I don't know what the hate was, but she deserves none of it. I love Mabel. What a speed run. Yeah, let's go. Speed run it. No percent. 100% speed run. Or no percent speed run. Let's go. That blonde girl, I forget her name. Yeah, I referenced Pacifica for the hair. <laughs> I was like, oh, there's somebody with a bowl cut. I know there's somebody with like bangs or a bowl cut. I was like, oh, Pacifica, that's right. I'm looking at Pacifica right now because I need that hair. Because she has, like, the straight cut hair. And I was like, that's perfect. Because, you know, Grey's got that bowl cut look, you know. We're almost there. <laughs> oh, knock knock, who's there? Any percent gravity falls glitchless. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> They villainized her when she was the child of the situation. She didn't deserve the backlash at all. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. No, I don't know. I, I don't know what the actual situation is. I feel like people just vi like to villainize characters because they like to get mad at things.
We stand little Gideon. Bro, I hated Gideon. <laughs> I loved Seuss. I really liked Seuss. Seuss was the best. August? August who? Just because of this masterpiece. Thank you. Gravity Falls has like no line variation either. But I am trying to speed run it, so I'm kind of ignoring that. <laughs> of wind just hit let me in ah, i'm sorry man i can't because i don't know if you're a vampire so like if i welcome you in then it's like i don't know man you could you could end me or worse you could make me live for eternity i don't think i want that <laughs> the mashup of pacifica and gideon i looked at um I looked at Dipper's hair for the sideburns and looking at Pacifica's for the for the hair. The overall face shape, I'm looking at uh, Mabel. So it's a mashup of those three, actually. This is Gravity Falls. Let's go! It's a good thing I had prior knowledge of how to draw Gravity Falls things. Nice! Alright! It's cold, I won't bite, I promise. Mm, we'll see. What's protective in all cows? We stand, Seuss. So true. Alright, y'all. That's gonna do it for this stream. Thank you so, so much for joining. Again, if you don't know too much about the studio, we are not just a YouTube channel, but we're also an art studio and art school. So if you'd like to check out the classes that we offer, be sure to check those out on the website over there. Um, and the website will take you to some of the classes. We are in the fall term right now. Um, if any of you are in my classes right now, there's actually no classes this week because uh, Thanksgiving weekend. Um, but... Um, they, we are in the fall term, so if you'd like to join any of the classes, I am one of the instructors. There are other instructors that sometimes pop into the chat, um, but, uh, they're not here right now. But, if you'd like to check those out, be sure to. This file that is in front of you will be available as a JPEG on the Discord, so be sure to join the Discord where you can download this file if you'd like to. Just don't repost it, and it's all yours. Um, but if you'd like any of my layers for this file and previous files that we have done on stream, then be sure to check out the Patreon for as little as $5 a month. And over there, you can get access to my working files and to behind the scenes at the studio. Um, but, yeah, y'all. Um, the uncanny version still creeps you out, as it should. Thank you. Um, what are we doing next week? Um, what is the stream? It is... Ooh, it's color. So we're going to be talking a bit about color picking and um, color theory. For the next stream, I might bring up color theory because I've learned that color theory is actually much different. Um, but we're going to be talking about color schemes and color picking, color moods, all that fun jazz. We're going to be having a lecture stream next week. Um, but if you'd like to join us for the color stream, be sure to be here. Um, we'll talk more about color. Um, but yeah, thanks so, so much for joining y'all. I'll see y'all next week. Bye-bye.